Hey, this is Run and Go Boom, and today I'm going to show off the quartz tier, which is Brian's giant creation in the last map, and I'm also going to show off the largest sorter that we have ever built together. But first, we're going to do a little bit of PvP in the new map. Here we go. Okay, it's Run to the tube. Huh? Run to the tube. Run to the tube. Are they inside? No, they're in the tube. They're that mountain tube. Where are you? I'm behind you. I don't know what the tube means. Oh, the, the, the tunnel. I thought you meant the drop down. No, the tunnel. I'm going back to the tunnel. I'm following you. Who's this, JJ Rockin? Yeah, go. He's gonna try and separate us, so. I'm fine with that. What the hell happened to him? He. Oh. He died. And Burley's around here somewhere, too. Did you get all his stuff? Yeah. Give me his axe. Oh. I am Kingsers down there in Diamond. Get out of there, Bri. Oh, shoot. Okay. Climb the mountain this way. I'm gonna run out and spawn. Okay. Early got my level one enchanted iron. I know it's not much, but we were just starting. Alright, now that we have our PvP fix done with, we can go to the last map and I can show off my sorter. This sorter is the largest I have ever built. It can sort over 250 items, and that's pretty much everything, plus what's coming up in 1.8, plus a bunch more. Um, and this is even dwarfed by our newest one, but uh, that'll I'll have to show you that in a later episode. Here we go. So I was searching live map and I discovered this biome. And I thought we should build on it. Awesome. Ooh, that's exciting. Sheep. <laughs> So far, but that's pretty much what we have, except for a little bit underground. Cool. And I like it because we can build traps in the mountains and have lots of entrances. I really like it. Ooh, I like this cave too. Where are you? Oh, this overhang. Here, I'll put my armor up. Oh yeah. Yes, there's a lot of there's an entrance over here. Now I have my raised map has the grid, so this is right, this is right in our trunk here. Oh shit! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Are you down in the cave? I'm wearing the iron. Okay. Right here. Okay, I see you. Entrance. Yep, it's just a cave. I can't see anything. But we could use it. Oh, cool. Yeah, that'll be great. And you see what I started? It's going to be a big sphere. It's only, like, partially done. Are we going to do a sphere or a teardrop? A uh, teardrop. But we, I want to start with a sphere because I couldn't find any templates for a teardrop. So. Oh, yeah, it'll, it'll be easy to turn it into it. Do a teardrop. <clears throat> Especially once we get the top half done. We won't have to change that at all. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of room in it. Awesome. So we'll have plenty of room to do whatever we want. We could actually, if we wanted to, we could make our whole base in it. But I don't think, I don't want to do that. I have other nah. plans. Ooh, this is very cool. Very, very cool. So 
So this is just the outline so far. Oh, you have a good amount of quartz too. First yeah, I went, I went farming and I got a bunch. Awesome. Almost a double, almost a double chest worth. I but think we're I, gonna need more. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more. I'm gonna open up my shop and uh, start paying people a good amount of money for it because we're gonna need a lot. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, yeah, and I just used a fortune three. A good way to get quartz is just a fortune three pick. Yeah. Or a touch pick because I didn't want to bother um, getting it twice. Yeah. I got I got over sixty levels. Well, quartz. MCMMO affects fortune three now, so there's no need to get a silk touch okay. unless you're worried about auto smelt with right. gold. So for quartz, it makes absolutely no difference. Okay. New base. So, Brian and I have decided to relocate our base and make a new one, and I decided that I would like to do it out of quartz, and I would like to do an upside-down teardrop shape, which I thought would be a neat thing to try. Honestly, it kind of looks like a hot air balloon, and it's pretty freaking cool. Um, so it was my idea to do this, and I didn't do a single thing to help. Brian t did everything. <laughs> um, I'm going to... I'm not supposed to do this for non-mod work, but this is just too cool not to show off. So, this is it. Pretty sweet. And it's still got a little bit of work to do, obviously. I mean, we have some holes to fill in, and I think we're going to change some of these blocks to a, a specific color of stained glass and then we're going to add floors and levels and cool stuff in here but I am I'm am very impressed Brian did this entire build all by himself um, so <laughs> my job is actually to go down underground and build a sorter <laughs> which is cool I believe this might be the hole for the hoppers to go down I'm not positive but that would be cool if we added a sword or drop, drop box up here that went down there. Um, so let's see. We already have a good amount of money. Let's see. From my shop I have 400,000 which is enough to get another portal. And we already have one of these portals activated. This this one over here is activated. That one over there is not yet activated. And we are going to shuttle stuff here using my portal system. And that'll be pretty fun. And so we're going to go from our old base to this new one as soon as we get the sorter figured out. And let's see. Take this lift up. This one goes in. This one goes to the ground level. And... Uh, <laughs> We have this amazing mushroom biome that we're improving, which is pretty cool. It's the only one on the map. And we have staked a pretty cool claim in it. And uh, I think we're going to leave these hills as they are, keep them pretty. I, I like the idea of them. And let's see. I don't know how to get into the underground, but maybe I can figure it out. Dig out an area and build a sorter. I can't wait. And I'll show you whenever I do that. But. So far, this progress is pretty neat. This, uh, the inside of this sphere, this drop, before I fill it all up with redstone. So, here we go. It's just giant. Back here is some of the scaffolding that we've already started for the sorter that we're gonna put in here. All right, so we are working on the scaffolding to the sorting system. Oops. And it's going really well. Brian and I are making it out of some more expensive blocks than we usually use for a sorting system. Oops, that's gotta go there. And I can do a, a quick tutorial on how to do this. So, right now, we have a line of hoppers, and that uh, that's the feeder hoppers. That's the stream that we put items in. And that will go around the system until it reaches a junk chest in the center somewhere. Then, right underneath that, we have two hoppers pointing into a wall. One, and then this one points into a wall, and then the block underneath it has to be a hopper pointing down just like that. 
And that's the whole system for hoppers. And then there's a wall. On the other side of the wall, there's a comparator that leads to a piece of redstone, another piece of redstone, one down from it, and then a repeater. Heading back this way, and on the other side of that pit repeater, oh shoot. I'll just mark it by making a little hole there. We use wood as scaffolding because at the end, when we don't want the scaffolding anymore, we can just burn it. <laughs> and it's very easy to get rid of. Now every other one, we're going to have a redstone torch, even though it's not ready yet. It will eventually go there, so I might as well do it while I'm here. And that's how that works. So what happens is, if there's an item in the upper hopper, it will hit that comparator telling that redstone and the repeater to switch this off, which allows it to take one item through. It will eventually feed each hopper down. But the easiest way to do it is to find the repeater row. And just for the aesthetics of the building, we decided to make the repeater row out of cyan. It was Brian's decision. And it's probably going to look awesome when it's done. Um, I know we're building it at a square. We tried a circle. It was just very inefficient. It, the corners were difficult. And uh, we decided we're going to just make a square and make it look like a circle when we're done by filling in the corners and it'll be a lot more efficient, it'll hold a lot more items. So we get this, this block scaffolding down by putting in the repeater circle, or the repeater square rather. Then put down the repeaters, put down these two side rows, and then we finish off with a block here. And we'll continue this on that side as well. Repeater, block, block, and then we do the redstone. Now, if we want, at the end, we might cover these up. I haven't decided which one looks prettier yet. So Brian has been working on this wall, getting the scaffolding ready, just by copying this design. And eventually, this is going to be a really awesome sorter. So I'm not going to show you guys the rest of this. It's going to get pretty repetitive. It's just us building the sorter. But you get the idea. Uh, it's going to be giant and we're going to connect it to everything. Uh, if you'd like to see more on how we connect it to the bottom and how we do the chest room, stay tuned to my next episode. I'll go in more depth there. And then right after that, <laughs> they reset the server. So we're going to do a full base tour. There's quite a bit of good stuff that happened since then. We have some PvP battles, we make some traps, we finish decorating the outside, Brian does some amazing builds, we finish the potion brewer, we'll show you all that very very soon and I can't wait. Um, but before that, next episode is going to be finishing the sorter and uh, showing off what it looks like in its final days. Hope to see you soon and thanks for watching.